I got a lot of books again. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm actually going to be filming my book outlet book haul that I purchased over the winter break after Christmas. Basically book outlet had a boxing day sale where you spend as much as you can and you get a certain amount taken off and I think I spent $75 but then I got $25 taken off so in total I bought like 14 books for $50 which isn't too bad in my personal opinion. I feel like these books are really expensive by themselves without the discount. So I think I got these books for a very good price. So let's get started. So the first book that I purchased is Marriage by Design by Lynn Michaels and this book as you can tell the cover is very old and it looks like it's a book that's actually published in the 2000s which I'm totally okay with because I actually really love these older romances. I'm really surprised that Book Outlet was selling this because usually Book Outlet sells a lot of the newer titles but this book is actually about a girl who is a top designer for this very fabulous very grand bridal design wedding dress company. So she designs wedding dresses and she made this very exclusive wedding dress and then the designs were leaked and then now this is becoming an investigation. So the company hires a private investigator and he is a handsome ex-cop and he's supposed to figure out who's the mole in the company and I think he and her will work together a lot which I find that it's going to be super cute. I'm a huge fan of romances that involve investigators or cops. So the next novel that I picked up is actually a thriller novel called The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. Now a lot of people have commented on my last book haul where I included a B.A. Paris book and everybody was like yes 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 you will be scared you will be thrilled but this book is about a girl who was in the woods one day like she was still, like driving I think and then she sees this other woman in a car and then she like she thinks nothing of it but then the news suddenly report that sh that woman that she saw in the car was actually found dead and actually found murdered and now she can't live with herself because like she thinks that maybe if she had done something or maybe if she had said something to her then she would still be alive so she can't like forgive herself for like not helping someone so now she can't stop thinking about about it but then she also realizes that she's slowly starting to forget things like she doesn't remember if she's taking the pills or not she doesn't remember if she's doing things and she's just forgetting every little thing so I think this one actually has to deal with a character who is maybe an unreliable character here's a little fun fact about me so I watched a lot of horror movies over the winter break and I also read a lot of thriller novels along the winter break and now I have nightmares and now I'm telling myself Lisa do not read a thriller novel and do not watch a horror movie so I don't know if, when I will pick this up but hopefully sometime but I don't know when I'm going to pick this up but maybe sometime when the weather is very sunny and bright and I'm not going to be scared of like the dark shifty weather that we're experiencing here in Toronto so I'm excited to read this but not right now. The next book that I picked up is Natalie Tan's Book of Love and Fortune by Roselle Lim. Now I think I thought I had this book, like I thought the publisher sent me this book, but turns out I can't find it on my shelves anywhere so maybe I didn't get it. So that's why I decided to pick myself up a copy when I saw it on Book Outlet. Now if you guys don't know, this book is about a girl named Natalie Tan. She has to deal with her mother's sudden death and she also has to go back to the Chinese restaurant that her mother owned and she has to run that Chinese restaurant. I heard there was like a lot of symbolism going on and then there was also like a lot of Chinese food going on so like I'm very excited because I love myself some Chinese food. The cover is gorgeous by the way like there's like a bowl of rice or like a bowl of noodles or something and there's like bridges and I think this place this one actually takes place in San Francisco Chinatown so I'm excited. The next book that I bought is Small Town Hearts by Lily Vale and now this one I have no idea what's it about. I literally added this one into my cart. I saw this on Swoon Reads Instagram page when it first came out and I was like I want that book but I know it's hardcover and full price is just going to be way too expensive and way out of my budget so I patiently waited for it to go on out book outlet which it did but I was also waiting patiently for it to drop in prices because of the sale so I finally purchased this this one looks so cute and it says so and it also says rule number one never fall for a summer boy so I think this one is about a girl that's from a small town she's working at in a cafe as a barista at busy bean she's basically freaking out about her life because I think she's like in high school and she's ready to go off to college and everything's changing and then a boy enters into the town now she's head over heels in love with him but she also 
also knows that he's going to leave because he's only here for the summer. So I think this is going to be a very cute YA romance. So the next novel that I picked up is Dry by Neil Schusterman. And now he's the author of Scythe and The Toll and Thunderhead, like that really crazy series. And uh, so I decided to pick this book up. I think this one is the book that he wrote with his son. So it's pretty cool that a father and son wrote a book together. And I think this one is a dystopian world where basically there's no water left on earth and water is very rationed so that like so that everybody can at least have some water if not like all the water and um I don't know anything else about this but I thought the concept was pretty cool and that's why I wanted to check it out but after I got this book I showed my friends who are big fans of Neil Schusterman and they all told me that it was an average novel and that they didn't really like it that much and they gave it three out of five stars and some even less than three out of five stars so I'm kind of worried about this novel but I'm still excited to read it. So the next novel I picked up is another YA like I think horror thriller novel because like it's literally a cheerleader standing on ice with an axe with blood on it. This one is called Undead by Christy McKay and let me justify this purchase. It was 89 cents so I was like why not and I didn't know it was hardcover so 89 cents for hardcover done done so I think this one is about zombies and I've never read it actually I don't think I've read a zombie novel before so I'll be interested to see if I really enjoy this and I think this is like just an apocalyptic world where zombies exist and teenagers are just trying to survive so you know what this is a very short read and I think I'll enjoy it when the time comes the next book that I picked up is actually George and Lizzie and this book is by Nancy Pearl and I thought the cover was just simply gorgeous. So this one is about a married couple who have different understandings of what love and marriage should be. So George was raised in this very warm and loving relationship and I guess Lizzie is the completely opposite because she was an only child and it was just basically two doctors who got together and they went like you know what I think we can create something beautiful. So then they created Lizzie. Basically Lizzie's very cold, George is very warm and then now they're living in this life where they're trying to figure each other out through their marriage and I'm a fan of these novels because it's like about real life and it's more realistic so I'm excited to pick this one up plus the cover was so cute. So the next book that I picked up is Pride and Prejudice and Mistletoe by Melissa D. La Cruz. Now this novel I was very skeptical of picking up when I first saw it on Book Outlet. This one has been on Book Outlet for so many years now but this one I was skeptical because the reviews for it was just so bad well like and until I went back on it again and it was like an average review so like I guess it's okay. So this book is a modern day retelling of Pride and Prejudice and it involves Darcy Fitzwilliam who is beautiful, successful, and brilliant and she's not even 30. She has three cell phones and she has also never been in love and she also never goes home for Christmas but when her mother falls ill she has to go back home for Christmas to take care of her mother and spend it with her mom during the holidays and basically she also reunites with the neighbor that she cannot stand who turns out to be Luke Bennett and Luke Bennett is the opposite of Darcy. He lives at home he's with his four brothers and he's content with living as a simple life as a carpenter and this is the story of them falling in love and I think this will be a very cute novel. I bought this book essentially because I thought that I would receive it during my Christmas holiday break and I could read it during the Christmas holiday break but I obviously didn't and now I'm gonna have to pick it up outside of the holidays. Um, maybe I'll pick it up sometime soon but right now I'm not really in the mood for a Christmas holiday romance. So the next book that I picked up has a giant Target sticker on it. I don't know why, but this one's called Seven Days of Us by Francesca Hornack. And this one is also another Christmas like romance novel. So this one's actually an adult fiction novel and it's about this family who is this gigantic family that is very successful and they all went into different directions after they graduated university and they got their full-time jobs. And Olivia, who is a doctor, is coming home because she only has to. And what happened was that there is an epidemic abroad. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. So basically this one is about like siblings that have accomplished a lot in their lives and basically went separate ways after they graduated from university and they hardly meet up with each other even during Christmas but they come back together for Christmas. Olivia who is a doctor just came home from this treating like an epidemic abroad but then she has been told that she has to stay quarantined for a whole week and this is the story of the whole family being together in a house for a whole week and I guess the story is going to feature a lot of 
their relationships and their past histories together. So I'm interested in reading about that one as well. Now the next novel that I picked up is The Dinner List by Rebecca Surley. And now this novel is about this girl named Sabrina and she's going to her 30th birthday dinner. She's super excited for it. But then all of a sudden she sees some very unexpected guesses. Among her unexpected guesses include a professor from college, Audrey Hepburn and her ex Tobias. So while the wine is poured and the appetizers are served, she's trying to figure out why these six people are actually here and what it has to do with the meaning of her life. And I think she kind of goes back in time and kind of reflects on like the actions she's taking to reach the point of her life right now. I thought it was an interesting concept, so I just added it to my cart. So the next novel that I picked up is actually a novel that Jessica from Peace Love Books also picked up. So we're twinning and this is actually a thriller called an Unwanted Guest by Char Shari Lapina, and I think she's a very popular thriller novel writer. So basically, I'm very new to thrillers. I don't really know what's a good thriller, who's a good author, and I don't know what kind of what kind of thrillers I do like. I think I'm straying away from psychological, and I'm more into like hard hitting, like action packed thrillers. So I hopefully this one is. So this one is about a bunch of people who are staying in a cabin and then an unexpected storm hits and then now everybody's locked inside the cabin. One of them dies and then they're like, holy shit, who killed this person? And then a second person dies. And then now they're just trying to find the killer inside this cabin. They're trying to deduce who could be killing everyone. And this sounds like it's going to be very thrilling. It's a very short novel. So I think things are going to be very fast paced with this one. The next novel that I picked up was Honestly, We Met Well by Grant gender and now this novel I saw on Instagram last year during the summertime when it was released and I was very intrigued by the cover because the cover just looks so funny to me and I think this one was that everybody was saying that this book was absolutely hilarious and it was just very smart and funny. So this one is about a girl who is becoming a professor and she's middle-aged. She's already married. She has a teenager. She thought her life was going really well. Like she was going to finish her PhD and become a professor and then actually teach at the university. She's been married for a long time to like the love of her life and she also has a son that has just graduated from university or about to graduate from university. So she thinks she did pretty well for herself. But then her husband admits that he He's been secretly having an affair and that the son is actually has actually made a lot of mistakes and has made a mess out of everything so then now she finds that her life is not as perfect as it was so when she gets offered to go to Greece to study the classics she, she can't help but make this into a family vacation in hopes of saving everything from falling into pieces and I think this will be a fantastic novel to read set in the summer because Greece is just going to be a very nice place to think about when I'm stuck here in Toronto. So this novel is very interesting because it's about a guy named Ronnie and he's like just like He's just trying to live a normal life. But basically, his stepdad tried to kill himself. His mom pops pills. And he's just trying to take care of the, his genius kid sister. But when somebody in the town decides to unlock all the cages in the zoo and all these animals start roaming around the whole entire town, that's when things get a little crazy. So there's a lot of news people coming in, flooding into town, trying to figure out like how to get the animals back into their cages, how to get the lions, how to get the gorillas, how to get like, you know, like all the monkeys and like basically all the creatures without killing them but then there are people that are like you know they're defenders and they want to defend themselves so they carry guns so they're like trying to rally if they're allowed to shoot the animals if they ever approach and if, if they cause danger to humans or cause danger to architecture and then there are people that are like no you can't shoot the animals and then basically the whole world is chaos and everything is crumbling and now Ronnie is responsible for taking care of the kid sister because the parents couldn't care less and so this book I think it'll be very interesting and eccentric to read during the summertime especially because it does take place in the summertime so I'm excited to pick this one up as well. So the last book that I picked up in this gigantic haul is A Lady's Guide to Selling Out by Sally Franson and now this novel is pretty cute. It has an illustrated cover and it's pretty big. So now this novel is about a girl who basically ended up finding this really elite job at an agency and she's doing really well for herself but her friends think that she's a major sellout because she completely changed as a person but she doesn't care because she just wants to pay the bills and she wants just to live a lavish life and she, this is her story about climbing the corporate ladder and also changing herself as a person and also finding herself as a person and dealing with people that might not be as supportive as she thinks 
they are. And I think this will be a very interesting novel to read. So that is it for all the books that I picked up in my book outlet haul. Hopefully you guys found some books that you want to add to your shopping cart or you found some books that you want to add to your TBRs. I'm very happy and very grateful that I was able to purchase all these books myself and I really do have a very bad shopping habit and a very bad shopping like just like a shopping like just a shopping problem so um this year 2020 I am already trying to work myself towards not that much money on books why the fuck you lying why you always lying oh my god stop fucking lying because I do need to save money for a lot of different things that are happening this year psych so hopefully, fingers crossed that I stop getting bored and then I just scroll on Amazon or Chapters Indigo website and just end up purchasing more and more books. But wish me luck. And until next time, I'll see you guys again. Bye.